What's up? My name is Alex Petropoulos, drummer for Pigeons Playing Ping Pong. And this is my kit. I, uh, I use a Ludwig Classic Maple. Two racks, two floors, kick. I got a 10 inch, a 12 inch, 14 and a 16 here. And then a 22 kick. The heads I'm using Evans EC2S there on the top. They're pretty thick, but not, not too thick. They give a nice clear boom for this. For this style especially, I'll switch between coated and clear, but this style it works a little more with kind of the boominess you get. On the bottom, I actually use coated heads on the bottom to kind of even it out. So you still get that boom, but it kind of has a little less tail at the end. Um, and that's just an Evans Rezo 7, just a basic, basic Rezo head. But uh, I do clear, on the, been doing clear on the top and uh, coated on the bottom. And then for the kick, also, I use a clear side on the beater on the beater side. It's an EC3. Um, same thing. I'll switch between a coated and a clear. But for this style, it gives it a little more kind of punch for that four on the floor kind of dance vibe. So works well for that. Snare here. I'm using a uh, CNC Custom Snare. Awesome company. They make great drums. It's a maple gum combo, six and a half deep, 14 inch wide. Um, and I love it. It's a, uh, it's got a deep, warm vibe, but I kind of crank it so it still has some good attack, and you know, it's it's got a deep vibe, kind of snary sound. But if you really hit it, it's got a good crack to it. So, been loving that. Head on the main snare is Evans ST Dry, which I really love. You know, it's thick and sturdy, but it still breathes. But the 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 the, the dry head, it. it it gives it, you know, it obviously makes it slightly drier, but it just has a little more of a controlled sound and kind of a grittier kind of bite, like more of a bite rather than a big open um, ringy sound. So for this for this style and this tour, it's been working great. So this is just a uh, snare weight dampener. I also have a little just piece of t-shirt here. Every room's different, so I'll kind of change the dampening. Some, some rooms it sounds a lot drier than normal, but it's just to kill some extra buzz and like I said, for kind of that dancey four on the floor, having a little more of kind of that dry, dushy sound is, is a little, uh, a l works better for the music than kind of an open ringy sound, which I like as well, but just for, for different styles. And, uh, so yeah, that'll just dampen the sound. Second snare is a uh, 14 by five. It's a Ludwig, it's an Acrolyte, but it's a hammered Acrolyte, which just makes it a little deeper. Um, and a little drier than what would normally uh, be gotten out of it. Here I have an Evans Hydraulic Blue. Um, it's it's a very dry kind of vintage 70s, you know, really dead sound. Even when you when you tighten it, you know, when you loosen it too, it sounds great as well. It gives it that thick douche sound. Um, right now I've been keeping it tight, and it kind of. It's just very dry and very attacky, and it's a very focused sound, so I like it. I like it as a side snare because I crank it a lot, so when it's used for just normal purpose, it's very high pitch. It's almost like a marching snare sound, but the reason I like it is because when the snare is off, it kind of gives it that timbali kind of, you know. So, you know, if we're doing kind of more, you know, reggaeton, Afrobeat vibes. It, it adds like a good kind of percussive vibe to while well, I'm also using the main snare. You know, predominantly I use Zildjian cymbals. The only Zildjians I'm not using are the Istanbul Agap clap stack. Uh, shout out to Trevor Lawrence for designing an amazing clap stack. It's just a really cool, you know, analog device to give like a really cool clap sound. You know, and it, it's it's crazy how the, the sound you get out of it, especially in a musical setting, it, it really adds a lot to to different tones and dance jams or any style of jams. And um, especially when you're working back and forth with a snare, it, uh, I've had it at sessions where people thought I had an electronic pad, and it's just it's it's this guy. So it's uh, it's an amazing design, an amazing set of symbols. Moving on, I got a. 15 inch sweet hi-hats, uh, it's a K-series Zildjian. Really cool in the middle, kind of washy, but still has a nice, you know, you can get washy, but also really articulate, and you can hear every, you know, you can hear every stroke, which, uh, which I like. This is just a classic A-Custom 19 inch crash, just a very, you know, 
classic sounding crash cymbal. I got some rivets on it just to give it a little flare, but uh, and a little sizzle. But uh, you know, it's just a very good go-to crash cymbal. Um, 18 inch sweet crash. Once again, you know, the K series sweet's awesome because it has that mix between kind of the washy but still has that brightness and attack that for this style really cuts through. Um, that's an 18 inch, so it sounds great. Um, ride, big 22 inch, just regular K custom, uh, just regular K ride. And same thing, you know, K's have that little more darker vibe, but it's still, you know. You can wash it and rock it, but it's still pretty articulate and, and cuts through the mix nice. Uh, moving on, 19 inch dark thin crash here, K series as well. So it's slightly darker, but still, you know, cuts and is nice and bright um, in the mix. And then lastly, a, um, a hybrid China. I believe it's a 19 inch. And um, the hybrids are cool because it's the same type of vibe, you know, the outside gives a little more well rounded, darker vibe, and then you know, the inside has the nice bright brightness of an A Custom, so it gives it a good balance. You know, overall, it's a good mixture of brightness and darkness for it, as that especially works for the style of music that really cuts nice and, and, and jams, and um, for more of that dance beat style of music, it cuts through nice. So. I got a DW5000 pedal down here. I got the double set up right now. Um, I've kind of switched back and forth, honestly, just for different musical purposes, for just for creativity, changing up, keeping spicing things up for myself. But I got the double set up here with some Lowboy beaters. Um, it's a great company called Lowboy, and they make you know a bunch of different products, but they make wooden beaters that give it a very natural kind of organic feel to have on a, on a kick pedal, which is nice. Um, so I love that. So over here, this is a Roland SPDS pad. Um, we utilize some basic sounds and samples for this for this band live, you know, whether it's just some whooshy effects or some, you know, random percussion elements. Um, you know, these things are amazing. You can do, you know, amazing things with these. I use it here and there with this live setup, but it's a great tool to have. Um, and it allows kind of a new, you know, a new avenue to create sounds back here, which is nice. And then... This is more just kind of fun to add in some kind of percussive elements. I have just a standard LP giant cowbell here and then Treeworks chimes here. You know, we, we like to incorporate some kind of, you know, islandy vibe, you know, Afrobeat style jams to our to our to our music and this allows me with my left hand to kind of add in some light percussion elements, which is fun. Big Promark guy. Typically, you know, right now I've been trying the uh, finesse 5A. Typically any 5A, the Rebound 5A is another one I'll use a lot. Um, Promark's been great. I've been loving their sticks. They uh, they last nice and uh, they don't, you know, would go through a lot of sticks typically and not breaking as many sticks. So shout out to Promark. They, they've really gone a long way with the sticks and I've been loving these. And um, Throne, good old rockin' sock saddle. Gotta love it. Been using these since I was first playing when I was a little kid. And, it's important to have a good throne. Um, also with hardware, you know, it's I have a good mixture here of a lot of Jill Bralter hardware and then some Yamaha mixed in. I've always liked Yamaha's stands and Jill Bralter makes a good wide variety of, of good go-to stands that are nice and sturdy for touring. Um, you know, the thinner classic stands are nice to have at home, but for, for the hard road touring it's good to have sturdy stands that'll, that'll last you so i'm lucky to have good gear in that sense and uh yeah yeah you can check out our new album perspective coming out here soon um it'll be everywhere on streaming platforms spotify apple music all of that whole uh that whole list there and we're super excited to be uh kicking off this perspective tour and uh yeah to go check it out